Hi everyone, welcome to the Lori Whitlock YouTube channel. I wanted to introduce you to this super sweet and adorable little village that I have for Valentine's. And in fact, we're gonna take this village and create it throughout the year for different holidays. So we've got this cute little heart-shaped house, which we have for Valentine's. And uh, for St. Patrick's, we're gonna have a clover-shaped house. And for Easter, we're gonna have an egg-shaped house, maybe a church. So watch for more pieces to come to this cute little village. Um, but in, I'm going to have a separate video for each one of these pieces, but I wanted to introduce you to the collection here at the beginning of the video. Um, you can purchase the SVG cutting files at my SVG shop, shop.lauriewhitlock.com, and you can get the silhouette cutting files at the Silhouette Design Store. So I hope you enjoy this cute little series of houses, and we'll get started putting them together. Hi everyone, in this video we're going to put together this adorable little church house that goes with the Easter Village that I have at my SVG shop in SVG format at shop.lauriewhitlock.com and we also have it at the Silhouette Design Store. Um, we've got several pieces to villages that we've been making recently and this one's a cute little house. It goes along with the Easter Village but of course you could cut it to coordinate with any theme that you'd like to. Um, we're coming out with different um, pieces that go with the different holidays throughout the year this year. So uh, check those out. And right now we all have the Valentine, St. Patrick's Day, and Easter versions ready for you. So let's go ahead and get started assembling this cute little church house. Um, uh, this is the, the base of the house or the building. This is the main church building piece. This is a little front outbuilding, not the little porch area of the house that we're going to put on the front of the church. Um, this is the part of the steeple, those two pieces. So let's go ahead and just start putting this together. First thing we're going to do is take these two long covering panels and put those on the back inside of the building. We'll flip that over and we're just going to glue these right over the window area. So I'm just going to put some adhesive on the back of this main piece. Try not to get the glue too close to the edges because we don't want to get it um, out of the area that this is going to reach. And then we'll do the same thing on this portion. Okay, once you've glued those in place, um, we can go ahead and just flip that back over and you can see how cute that looks with that pink showing through each of those windows. So now we're going to put the window casings on the outside of the building. And we'll just go down the line gluing each one of those on. If you have any excess glue just wipe that away. So we'll just glue each of those six window casings on, window frames, right now. Once you have each of those window casings glued on, we're going to move to the front little uh, front door entrance area. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to glue that um, door casing on. And there's a background pink piece we're going to glue on. So it uh, doesn't matter which order you do that in, but we'll just go ahead and put this door casing on. And then we'll just put a little glue down the middle of the door and around the edges of that to glue this pink piece on. extra glue. You can just wipe that off. Okay, so you can flip that over and see how cute this is getting. There's our front door. And while that's all drying, let's move on to our little steeple piece here. Again, we've got all these whoops, little window casings to glue on. So we'll just pick those up, put some adhesive on them, 
and stick those in place. And then on the back side of the little steeple, we'll just flip that over and just take note of where the peaks come up and you'll use the shorter little rectangle pieces to cover those. Just make sure that these covering panels don't overlap the score lines. Okay, and then we have our roof that just folds right in half like that. And we have our little steeple that's gonna go on top of this um, piece that we just prepared with the tiny windows. So we can just go ahead and fold each of those square marks all in one direction. And there's a glue tab on one end here. Just make sure you get a nice press with each of those corners and then we'll go ahead and glue that steeple on that glue tab it's going to look like that in fact we should be able to just lay that down and use our table to get that glued in place moving any excess glue And that is our steeple piece. And we'll let that dry. While you're letting that dry, we'll go ahead and fold the bottom portion of the steeple. And then once again, we've got our um, glue tabs at the bottom that are going to fold and let's get those kind of bendable and our top glue tabs that are going to fold in as well Then we'll bend them back out of the way but then this glue tab on the side we're just going to fold right in half and glue down just make sure everything's lining up right mine seems to be slightly off Looks like my um, glue tab here, I'll fix this in the file before I upload it. I need to trim just a tiny bit more of an angle there. But I'll fix that before I upload the file for you. So that is our little staple piece. So this is gonna glue onto our top piece right here and these are going to glue onto the house at the bottom. So let's go ahead and glue our top piece on to those four tabs. A little more adhesive down in that seam doesn't seem to want to stick. It's going to let that dry for just a moment. I'll go ahead and put our steeple on there. You can kind of get your finger inside of there and press against that steeple so it will stick really well. And we're just going to let that whole piece dry for a minute while we put together the other pieces. Okay, so on our main church house piece, we're just going to fold all those score lines in one direction. And we're gonna glue here, the glue tab. We'll fold all those bottom score lines in. That's gonna glue to our base here. And we'll glue those roof line pieces in. Okay, 
So you can see that the church looks the same on either end, so it doesn't matter which end you treat as the front, but we are gonna get the little front entrance ready to go. So we're just gonna fold on all those score lines towards one direction. It's gonna to connect to the church with these two little side tabs here. And these top pieces are just gonna glue down to those glue tabs there to form kind of a peak at the top. And then we have a little roof to put on top of that as well. So first, let's just go ahead and put a little adhesive on these two tabs here. And I'm gonna use these clips to hold that the way I want it. Just line that up with the front of the, the doorway there. And we'll just let that dry for a minute. And while that's drying, let's go over and put on our main roof piece. So it's just gonna sit on top of the church like this. So let's just put some adhesive on these four glue tabs on the top. And we're just gonna hold that in place while it glues down. And you can see at this point, this is how the steeple's gonna glue on. So we're just gonna put some adhesive on those glue tabs and glue it in place when we're ready. And then you've gotta decide where you want this. Um, let's see, I'm gonna use this as the front of my house, my church, so I'm gonna put the steeple towards the front a little bit. And I'm gonna choose the side of the steeple that looks best, and to me, this side looks the best, so we're just gonna kind of, you can center it, you can put it a little towards the front, whatever you think looks good, and just hold that in place while it dries. Okay, when that's dry, we're ready to put the front entryway onto our church. So we'll just take that um, off. I'm gonna wait and put this on after I glue it to the building. You wouldn't have to, but you just wanna make sure that you don't let it slide back because that would hold, hold it away from the building. So I think it's a little safer just to go ahead and glue this part on first. Just keeping things nice and square. You just want to put that right on front and just center it. And you can kind of get your baby finger in there to press down on that glue tab if you want. You might want to use another utensil or tool. You could actually probably even slide a clip in there. If you fold that bottom glue tab up, you can slide a clip in there to hold it down. Look how cute that's getting. I love this church. And we're ready to glue our little roof line on this front piece here. So I'm just going to put some adhesive on this front section. And we'll just put that roof line on. Cute, cute. And then once these are all done, we we'll pull that glue tab back down and we can just put some adhesive on these four tabs. And we'll stick the whole house down to the base. been working with some glitter so there's glitter hanging out on my desk so just kind of center that in the space and just glue the whole building down super cute our church is done look how fun that is so I hope you enjoy making this cute little 
Easter Church House to go along with your Easter Village. And I hope you go check out all the other coordinating pieces. Um, we have different themes throughout the year coming along and we'll add different pieces like a schoolhouse and um, whatever else we can dream up throughout the year. So I hope you enjoy these. Have a great day and we'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.